the traditional way to cook the Christmas ham is to boil it. And so many of us have memories of a steam-filled kitchen. This is a lovely way of cooking it. A wee bit different. And what I've done is I've simply sat it on a trivet so that it sits above the stock and it braises overnight in the oven. It's very, very clever. Put some celery, some onion, and I put in some root ginger, some star anise, which I love. And this is a great spice to have at Christmas, even in mulled wine. It works really, really well. You put this in to the base, just chop everything roughly, black peppercorns and some cloves. So it's lovely and aromatic. Then we just finish it with a good Irish cider. Pour that at the bottom of the dish, sit your trivet, and then sit your ham. Cover it with some parchment paper, which keeps it really moist and succulent. Then you cover it in tin foil, and we've cooked that at about 120 for about 12 hours, so nice and slow. The beauty about this, you can do this at least two or three days ahead, but keep it in your fridge. That beautiful braising liquor there, keep that for a beautiful soup, a lovely sauce, do not waste that full of flavour. Now I'm going to talk to you about the glaze, and I think the glaze really makes the ham. Some light brown sugar is going to go into the saucepan, put in our apricot jam, scrape this in, and then into this, I'm putting ground ginger. We're going to put a teaspoonful of this in here. Bring this to the boil, and we need to just soften this up. So I'm just going to get a wooden spoon here and stir this through. If you want to, you can put a little splash of balsamic vinegar. Ginger works really well or allspice, but try and keep it fresh, keep it different. Like every year we try and do some different glaze, which really makes the ham interesting. And I suppose how you cook the ham and how you store it is really important over the Christmas period. So when your ham is cooked, make sure that you let it go cold, wrap it in cling film and keep it in the fridge. So I've just softened this up here, turn down the heat. I'm going to put the juice of the lemon and the rest of my ingredients. This is sweet and this will give a lovely sharpness to it. So squeeze that in. And you're going to stir that through. I'm going to put in some stem ginger. This is the third different ginger that I've used. So the fresh ginger, cooking the ham, the ground ginger, which is there, and then the stem ginger. So this is crystallized ginger. Slightly sweet, but lovely and tangy. Works really, really well in this glaze. I'm going to put in some star anise. This has to be one of my favorite spices. So wonderful in a fresh food salad. You're cooking duck, roast and pork, it's so delicious. Pour those and then just warm this up again. And this needs to reduce just for about another two minutes. So just keep stirring it. This will keep happily a few days ahead. It will kind of harden a little bit or set. You just warm it up and then brush it over the ham. Let the glaze reduce a little to intensify the flavor and to make it nice and sticky. When you're ready to glaze the ham, cut off the skin and the fat and then score the meat. This will allow the glaze to penetrate into the ham. I think a pastry brush is the best tool for this job. Be generous and make sure the ham is completely covered. That's it ready. It needs to go into the oven. I have a preheated at 180. That's going to take about 45 minutes. And probably after maybe 20, 25 minutes, I'll just get the pastry brush and brush it over again. I have a tiny little bit left, so I'm going to make sure that I use it all up on the ham. I want to show you a really good relish to serve with the ham. Sweat off some sliced onions, squeeze some garlic in and give it all a good stir. Add a little bit of sugar. This will help the onions to caramelize and pour in some red wine and some balsamic vinegar. This makes the relish sharp and tangy. Bring it to the boil and let it simmer for 15 to 20 minutes until it's sticky and caramelized. It's as simple as that. This is what the ham looks like when it's glazed. It's so aromatic. It looks beautiful, lovely and sticky. Let it rest. Don't serve it straight away. Let it rest for about maybe 20 minutes. I just think it's such a dramatic centrepiece. We're going to garnish this with a little bit of watercress. That's more than enough. And then for our onion relish. I've let it cool down and this will keep for weeks in your fridge and especially over the festive season if you want to make the ultimate you know turkey and ham sandwich this will work brilliantly. Best way to store it I think is in a little kilner jar. So just spoon this in. So it's a lovely homemade gift that you can give to your family. Clean around the jar and then just with a spoon, just going to put this at the centre of the dish and let everyone kind of help themselves. Best way is to bring that to the table, slice it. I'm telling you, they're going to be wowed with this ham.